I want to thank you so much. And I request that as you enter in, please clog in and clog out. Today is the second day. I started counting yesterday. Clog in and clog out. I am checking the list every day of people who attend the house. Thank you so much for coming. And especially some people, Honorable Chris, you're most welcome. <laughs> My doctor, I want to thank you so much for coming and coming at this time and earlier than me actually. That's why I'm thanking you for coming earlier than me because there's only one, two people who beat me here. That is uh, the Kabale group. Honorable Musasizi and Honorable Bahat. Honorable members, following my directive of yesterday, the report of the Committee of Tourism, Trade and Industry on the inquiry of government, governance, value for money on the budgetary appropriation for cooperatives for financial year, 2011-2012, 2022, 2023, was duly uploaded as per the request of uh, the WIP, government WIP. And I urge you members to read that report and internalize it. And I also want to request the institutions that were given the report, that is IGG, CIID, DPP, to give us actions taken within three months from the day of submission of the report. Honorable members, you're aware that schools are breaking off, children are coming back home. This is a time that we need to do parenting. It's a long holiday. And because it's a long holiday, these children are subjected to a number of challenges that border with the early marriages, early pregnancies, that is the sexual harassment, exploitation of these kids, the violence, human trafficking. So as parents, guardians, we should be able to support these kids in this long holiday. I want all the parents outside there to ensure that they do effective parenting. While these children are at home, they should do effective parenting. Uh, I also want to ask government agencies. Yesterday something came up on issues of water, power in most of these institutions. You find a police barracks does not have water. Hospital, the hospital, nurses' quarters, and whichever have no water, have no electricity. Why don't we have a government to government discussion and see how some of these things can be resolved? Because if this is government to government, can't we resolve it? Can't that be handled? Why would we leave a police officer who is guarding you to be in a dark place? A police officer without water in a barracks. That looks queer. So we may need to look at it. And I would request government to look onto that and see how we can resolve those issues. I want, to, I want to thank Kampala KCCA, City Authority, for trying to punch the potholes in town. I see they are trying to punch the potholes, but unfortunately they are punching the potholes only where they think the visitors are going to pass. The biggest visitors in this country are us. We are all visitors in this country. First start with us, because all of us come from outside Kampala. 
We have visitors in this city. So punch everywhere. We've given you money. Not only go a road going to Munyonyo. And we know there are a lot of inconveniences that are happening. When a road is being worked on, you, there is a diversion, you cannot pass, and that kind of thing. And with this so too much rain that is happening, there is a lot of inconvenience. So I request KCCA to consider all Ugandans as visitors. As we, we wait for the other visitors who are coming, we punch everywhere. And uh, we want a, a beautiful city. Once that is done, we don't have to segregate. We don't work on our house only when we know there are visitors coming. We give out money and it's for the whole city. So let cases here do that without segregation. Honorable members, this morning, I'm saying it, and this I'm saying it painfully, because I shouldn't have said it, especially when the chairman, the chairperson of Lango Parliamentary Group is my very good friend. I saw a press conference where the Lango Parliamentary Group is addressing the nation. And I've also seen T-shirts on social media. I've seen a number of posts on social media saying no Afcon, no Akiwa, no Afcon. No Akiwa, no vote. I want us to distinguish between presidential pledges and what was put in the Afcon bid. Honorable members, I was reading on social media this afternoon. Actually, my colleague from Kenya called, his office called me. Now, there's a man who was arrested called Okelo, who stole a vehicle, Okelo Wilson, who stole a vehicle, of I don't know from where. <coughs> he was beaten, I think beaten, he was taken to Kenya hospital. And uh, when he got conscious, I think he wanted some refuge somehow. And said, I'm a brother to, to the speaker of Uganda. <laughs> <laughs> not all Okelos, not anybody who starts with the Ohubua, uh, Okema. <laughs> not all Okelos are my brothers. <laughs> I don't know the person if Kenya, Kenya should take uh, that seriously. And uh, he's prosecuted the person because I don't know him. We don't want thieves. And I don't have relatives who are thieves. One of my relatives in this house is Zobua. We come from the same clan, but he's not a thief. <laughs> huh? He's not a thief. Honorable members have received the matters of national importance from Honorable Migade, Honorable Viralo, Honorable Annette, and Fet, Honorable Feta and James, kindly, kindly allow